Hello everyone. There are three updates I'd love to share with you this month. The first is to note that as we approach the end of the fall term, our team and the Center for Pedagogical Innovation are busily but excitedly preparing for our annual Tribute to Teaching event. This is the annual celebration during which the university-wide teaching awards are conferred, and so we're happy to invite you to join us in Pond Inlet on the morning of December 7th between 10.30 and noon to help celebrate your incredible colleagues. The second update has to do with CPI's ongoing webinar series on assessment. Many of you will have attended these webinars. We've had incredible faculty engagement across the university. And so this fall, we've had webinars related to assessment in the context of uh, accessibility and universal design, assessment in the context of blended and online learning, as well as assessment in the context of writing intensive courses. I'm happy to say that the recordings from all three of those sessions, as well as a bonus fourth session having to do with the essentials related to artificial intelligence for educators, all four of those recordings are available on CPI's website for your consumption and reviewing. But we're also thrilled to now share our winter lineup. We will continue to focus on assessment, but of course we're going to focus on different domains now. So in the winter, we're going to look at assessment in the context of STEM education, assessment in the context of language learning, and of course also continuing our focus on assessment in the context of generative artificial intelligence. We hope you find these webinars useful and we hope to see you at them uh, live as well. The third and final update I have is that at the moment, CPI is engaged in collecting a lot of feedback from instructors and other academic users about two educational technology tools that are coming to the end of their contracts. These have been discussed at various Senate committees as well over the last month. One of these tools is Turnitin. This is the phrase matching software that's been in use at Brock for a long time now. The other one is known as Blue, uh, produced by a company called Explorance, and this is the software package that we use uh, to support student course experience surveys. Now, as per Section 3C 5.3 of the Faculty Handbook, we're of course consulting with academic users of both of these technologies to first validate the need for these tools, as well as uh, make sure we have the right requirements of these technologies. Uh, so many of you will have received and hopefully have read the note that came out in the Provost Memoranda newsletter last week that includes a link to a survey uh, where we're soliciting your feedback about both of these technologies. Of course, once we receive this feedback, we will go on to seek a recommendation from the Senate Committee uh, on Information Technology and Infrastructure, and then eventually endorsement from Senate for the acquisition of these technologies. Uh, in practice, of course, this could mean that we are renewing one or both of these technologies or potentially replacing them, uh, but it is important at this stage that we receive your feedback. Uh, I know the team in CPI has been engaging with faculty uh, through a number of channels, uh, uh, but we certainly wanted to make sure that, that you were aware of this opportunity uh, at this critical time in the procurement process. So those are my three updates for this month. I, I wish you all a wonderful finish to the, to the fall term and hope to see many of you on campus, particularly on the morning of December 7th at the Tribute to Teaching event. Thank you very much.